Saints, June 24, 2014. Let's have a listen to what's being said here. Meeting. And uh, maybe should be uh, maybe should be believed part of it anyway. An, uh, an uh, ominous memorandum from the office of the president circulating states that President Putin offered Russian military forces on full combat alert yesterday after a nearly two-hour-long conversation with Obama early Saturday morning, wherein the Russian leader told his American counterpart, you better stop man's Monsanto or we will. According to this memorandum, Putin, while visiting a state agrarian university, was advised by his top scientific experts that the ongoing bee apocalypse occurring in the United States is now entering its gravest stage and has the ability to threaten the entire global food supply, which in turn could lead to unprecedented unrest around the world. After receiving this information, this memorandum continues, Putin ordered it to be conveyed to Obama with an urgent notice that Russia expected the United States to act on these grave concerns immediately. In their subsequent telephonic conversation on Saturday relating to this matter, the memorandum says that Obama advised Putin that late Friday afternoon, 19 June, upon his receiving the information, signed an emergency executive memorandum ordering his regime to develop a plan for protecting pollinators such as honeybees, butterflies, birds, and bats. The order sent to all of his cabinet secretaries and agencies stated, The problem is serious, requires immediate attention to ensure the sustainability of our food production systems, avoid additional economic impact on the agricultural sector, and protect the health of the environment. Obama's emergency order also states that the number of bee colonies in the United States has declined from 6 million in 1947 to 2.5 million today and with pollinators such as bees having such a profound economic impact as they contribute more than 24 billion dollars to the United States economy and it would lead to an agricultural apocalypse for America if they were to disappear entirely. The Putin was appreciative of Obama's immediate action regarding this situation. Memorandum further notes he became enraged after Obama failed to give assurances that the U.S. EU backed regime in Ukraine would forbid the introduction of GMO crops in that nation, at which point Putin told Obama, You stop Monsanto or we will and within the hour ordered tens of thousands of Russian military forces to immediately go on full combat alert. Now, of course, that may be stretching it a bit as to what it's for, but sooner or later we're going to find out. Important to note is that Russia shares a 1,426-mile uh, border with Ukraine and Putin had previously deemed a threat to Russian national security any GMO crops being planted in Ukraine due to the possibility of their infecting the Russian crops as well. May 2013, a report was issued, Russia warns Obama, global war over bee apocalypse coming soon. Putin and Russian leaders are extremely outraged over the Obama regime continued protection of global seed and plant biogenetic giants Syngenta and Monsanto in the face of the growing bee apocalypse that the Russians warned will certainly lead to world war. Conclusive scientific proof that the current bee apocalypse occurring in the United States is being caused by GMOs has been known since 2008, leading to a draft law submitted to the Russian parliament last month 
seeking to impose punishment up to criminal prosecution to producers of genetically modified organisms harmful to health or the environment like Monsanto. Also to note, memorandum says is that Prime Minister Medvedev this past April ruled that Moscow will not allow any GMO foods into Russia and earlier this month, Russian lawmakers advocated the creation of an international UN agency not only to strictly control the takeover and turnover of GMO products worldwide, but with a top priority mission to scrutinize how consuming GMO foods affects human health in the long term. GMOs hurt dozens and hundreds and even thousands and the consequences may be much, much worse. Any punishment should be proportionate to the crime. As to how Obama is protecting his American people from the dangers of GMOs, memorandum says it's absolutely appalling. As just last March, he signed a bill into law that was written in part by the very billion-dollar Monsanto Corporation, that will benefit directly from the legislation called the Monsanto Protection Act that effectively bars any U.S. federal court from being able to halt the sale or planting of controversial genetically modified, a.k.a. GMOs, or genetically engineered GE seeds, no matter what health issues may arise concerning these in the future. The memorandum concludes the European Network of Scientists for Social and Environmental Responsibility, who in an open letter signed by nearly 300 experts in February warned the world as scientists, physicians, academics, and experts from disciplines relevant to the scientific, legal, social, and safety assessment aspects of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, we strongly reject claims by GM seed developers, i.e. Monsanto, and some scientists, commentators, and journalists that there is a scientific consensus that GMOs are safe. The debate on this topic is over. We feel compelled to issue this statement because the claimed consensus on GMO safety does not exist. Claim that it does exist is very misleading, misrepresents the currently available scientific evidence, and the broad diversity of opinion among scientists on the issue. Moreover, the claim encourages a climate of complacency that can lead to a lack of regulatory and scientific rigor and appropriate caution, potentially endangering the health of humans, animals, and the environment. Well, there you go, friends. It sounds to me like Putin's putting the hurts to Obama, possibly here over all this rhetoric, uh, over the uh, getting uh, planes ready, the tanks ready, and everything else. They're uh, going to make sure there's not going to be anything brought into the, their country. They are not on GMO's side, so good for them.